another long day. 29.9 miles. I'd earmarked this little place called Donna, spelt Donna, uh, towards the end of the day. And it turned out it was kind of the perfect distance just as light was starting to fade. And I came in and I just wasn't sure. There were a few houses around, so not the best place to camp. And the pontoon seemed a little bare, but there were two guys who saw me come in and they waved quite vociferously when I arrived. And they came down and I just said, guys, is there a place to camp or even a bed? Uh, I tend to ask that everywhere, just in case, you never know. And one said, we can sort you a bed, just like that. He called someone, his friend Magna came down. <laughs> <laughs> and Magna said, we have a place just up the hill. So he drove me up here and then just said, 10 families in, in the region have just done this up just for guests and you can stay here tonight. And he seemed like he was in a bit of a rush. Lovely, lovely guy. He was just like, you just sleep here, it's fine. And uh, you can leave your bags, the rest of your bags on the, uh, on the bike down in the pontoon, very safe place. So he's just driven off. And I now have an amazing cabin for the night with a view over the fjord, over to San Nesjuan, where the Hurtigruten port is. How cool is that? <laughs> amazing. I also didn't have to, I didn't bring all my bags up because I was in a bit of a rush, so it just means less packing in the morning because I don't faff around. This is incredible. So friendly. <laughs>